Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can create a high-end skin retouching and smoothing effect in Photoshop. And then guys, I'm going to show you a really quick tip on how to get the perfect white balance in your photos to really bring out those colours in your skin tones. And I'm going to start right now. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is James and if it is the very first time to this channel and you want to learn all about Photoshop, Lightroom and everything photography related, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So today guys I'm going to show you how you can create an amazing high-end skin retouching and smoothing effect in Photoshop 2020. And then guys, I'm going to show you a real quick tip on how to get the perfect white balance to really bring out those colours in your skin tones. Now this is part of a mini series all about really how to really enhance your portraiture photography. And I've already run over just a few uh, tips and tricks. Uh, I've got a video all about how to enhance colours and contrast in your photos. And the previous video that I made was all about how to really enhance the eyes uh, by creating texture and also how to change the colours. So uh, make sure to have a look at those videos and make sure to to subscribe because I've got a few videos coming out really how to enhance lips uh, and really do a bunch of other techniques all about portraiture photography so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my future content now guys if you want to have a look at any of the photos uh, that I'll be using in this tutorial make sure to go in the link in the description and that'll take you to my website where you can follow along step by step of the same photos that I'll be so you can really master my technique but without further ado let's get started Okay guys, so the first thing you want to do is find an image uh, that you want to create a kind of high-end skin retouching and smoothing effect. So if you want to use any of the images that I'll be using, I've got three images today, so go ahead to the link in the description. Uh, you'll be find uh, we've got photo one here, we've got photo two, and then we've also got photo three. Uh, and these are perfect representations of uh, types of photos that high-end skin retouching really works with. I'm going to be using photo one and photo two, but again, you can use any photo you like. So what you want to do is go ahead and open Photoshop. So this is the image that we're going to be working on today. Now we've got uh, two effects already applied. So we've got the enhanced colors and we've got the eyes. Uh, so have a look at the two previous videos that I've made on how to create these two effects. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn that off today and we're just going to work on how to create the uh, high-end skin retouching. So once we've uh, opened the image, the very first thing we want to do is we want to duplicate the layer. So we're going to go to our background layer and we're just going to press Command J. And what we'll do is we'll just delete these for the meantime. So what we've done is we've created a background layer. What we're going to want to do is invert the colours. So we're going to press Command I and what that will do is that will invert. And as you can see, it's created a terrible mess, but it will work for the particular effect that we're working with. So once we've uh, converted it into the invert colors, what we're gonna do is we want to create a high pass filter. So we're gonna go to a filter, we're gonna go to other, and then we're gonna go to high pass. And we want the high pass radius pixel number to be 24. So make sure we've got 24 selected on the image that you're working with. So then we'll press okay. Now this has created, a, 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 it makes it looks even worse. But don't worry, it will look correct in a minute. So what we want to do is go to our blending modes next, and then we want to go down and use vivid light. And as you can see, it's starting to uh, kind of take effect, but we still need to do one more uh, thing to get the image to look correct. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to filter, we're going to go to blur, and then we're going to go to Gaussian blur. Now, uh, depending on what photo you're working with and depending on how much effect that you want, I'm going to choose probably between one and four pixels, but I think two pixels on this particular image works really, really well. So we're going to choose two pixels and we're going to press OK. Now, you might think that the effect isn't done yet. What we're going to have to do is we're going to make a uh, layer mask so it only affects on the certain parts of the area that we want. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we've got our background layer selected. We're going to press Command or if we press Alt on our keyboard and we're going to go around to our layer mask and as you can see, it's, it's gone. And we've created a black layer mask. So what we want to do now is we want to paint in the areas that we want to uh, create the kind of nice smoothing effect. 
So we're going to select uh, the brush tool on our keyboard, or if we go over to the left hand side and select the uh, brush tool there, it was B on our keyboard. We want a nice, big, nice, soft brush, and we want to get the flow, and we want to lower the flow down to around 30%, because we don't want it too harsh. And then what we want to do is just start painting in the areas that you want to create a nice, smooth skin. So the, the cheeks work really nicely. You can make the brush a little bit smaller. Now the parts that you want to avoid is anything that's got a harsh edge. So as you can see the eyes, we want to avoid any parts of the eyes. Uh, we want to avoid like let's say the bottom of the nose. And we, don't, we want to avoid any highlighted areas. So as you can see we've got a little spot on the nose there where it's kind of just reflecting. So we just want to go round that nice and carefully. And then we just want to go round down and again we've got a little kind of highlight section at the bottom of the chin there so we just want to be careful with that go around here now you can spend a lot of time on this to get this absolutely perfect but in this particular instance i'm going to be quite quick just to kind of show you all of the effects so it doesn't end up being a too long of a tutorial so we're going to go along here make sure we've got all the areas that you want now guys, if you do make a mistake or you go over a selection of an area that you don't want, we can always press X on our keyboard and that will change our foreground and background layer between white and black. And what you can do is you can press D to kind of reset that to Photoshop's preferences, which is just simply black and white. So if we go along here, top of the nose area a little bit. Along here. Lovely, and we've created this lovely effect, but it's a little bit too strong for this particular photo. So what we're gonna do is we can just lower the opacity to bring back a few more of the blemishes to make it just look a little bit more natural. So all we need to do is make sure that we've got our layer selected. We go to our opacity. If we lower it down, and we can just increase it to the amount that we would like. And I think around 75% works brilliantly. Lovely. So there we go guys, that's how you create the lovely skin uh, smoothing effect. But now guys, I'm going to show you a quick trick on how to get the skin tones correct using a white balance effect. So what we're going to use, we're going to use a different photo. So we're going to go to uh, this particular photo. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a curves adjustment layer to make a nice quick white balance effect change. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to our adjustment layers and we're going to go into a select curves. Now there's two ways of creating this effect. We can either use the eyedropper tool or we can use the automatic tool. So uh, we're going to show you the automatic tool first and then I'll show you how to use the eyedropper tool. So we've got the auto button up here, but what we want to do is we want to hold down alt on the auto button and then click on the auto button. What it'll do is it'll come up with the auto button options. Now with this options, you want to select uh, a few particular algorithms. So we've got, as you can see, as default, the algorithm is enhance brightness and contrast. What we want to do is we want to change that to enhance per channel contrast. So what this will do is it will look at the colors in the photos and it will enhance it per channel. So obviously you've got red channel, green channel and blue channel. And what this will do is it will automatically correct the white balance in the image. So what we'll do is we'll uh, make sure we've clicked uh, that and then we want to go down to snap neutral midtones. So this will look at the midtones in the photo and then it will correct them via that. Uh, which is predominantly most of the image. So what we'll do is we'll click that as well. And as you can see, we've got our shadows here, we've got our mid-tones and highlights, and we can change these if we double click, you can change it via your color picker. Uh, so if you're after a certain color grading effect, you can do it via creating this. And then once you've done that, if we press OK, and we can turn it off and on again, as you can see, it has color corrected this image beautifully. Now another way of doing it is using the white iris section of the eye and using the colour picker tool. So what we'll do is we'll just delete that curves adjustment layer and we'll create a new curves adjustment layer by going to the curves adjustment layer icon at the bottom. And then what we want to do is we can see these three buttons. We've got the brightness, we've got the midtones and we've got the shadows. So what we want to do is we want to make sure we've got the midtones eyedropper tool selected. We want to zoom in to the white area of the eye, making sure that we don't select any kind of blood vessels or any mascara or anything like that. And all you need to do is click. And then if we zoom out, if we turn it off 
And on again, as you can see, it has color corrected the image to how uh, the iris, because as the white of the eye reflects kind of the atmosphere and the environment around the subject, it will color correct the image via using the white section of the eye, which is obviously is reflecting a lot of the environmental colors. So what it does, it will, it will perfectly color correct, or white balance this particular photo on the environment or atmosphere that the subject is in. And there we go, guys. So that is how you can create a beautiful high-end skin retouching effect in Photoshop 2020, and how to use the auto button tool in the curves adjustment layer to create a perfect white balance in your skin tones. Brilliant, and there we go guys. So that is how you can really create an amazing high-end skin retouching effect in Photoshop 2020. And make sure, go have a look at uh, my other videos so you can learn how to really enhance the eyes and kind of the colors and contrast in your portraiture photography. All of that will be in the link in the description. Again guys, if you want to like, comment and subscribe to my channel, it really, really does help my channel grow. And make sure to hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my latest content. Also guys, I've got a few uh, designs on Teespring where you can pick up hoodies and t-shirts for 20% off if you use my promo code CREATE20. But until next time guys, keep creative.